Hi guys, um, it's been a while since I've been on YouTube and lately I've been on uh, Facebook a lot. I've been doing live painting on there too. So if anybody wants to look at that, they can. Um, but anyway, I just thought I'd come this morning. I know it's early in the morning and some of you are still sleeping, but you can always stream my video anytime. So it's not like you have to do it now, but whenever you're awake and whenever you're ready, you could stream my video. Um, but I want to show you a couple of paintings I did. This one, I did a red cityscape. You can tell it's all red. I did that um, the other day. So this one's probably, it was kind of easy to do because red, I just mixed red and white and got this. So everything was red on here, which I have another one hanging on my wall that's that's also a red cityscape, but um, it's probably a little bit bigger than this one. I think this is 8 by 10 which I don't use 8 by 10 anymore that much. I use more by like this, this size. Um, I think that's 11 by 12 or something. But um, anyway, I just thought I'd come on here and show you a paint. Um, we're going to paint something. Well, I don't know what we're going to paint yet, but we're going to paint something. So um, what I'm going to do is I usually don't use black on any of my paintings, but this time I am. I'm going to have a black background. And yeah, my little dog always likes to say hi to me. But um, I'm going to use a small brush, so that's going to take a little bit of time to paint the whole background. So start on top. That's going to take quite a bit of time, but I mean, I got to be more patient with my games. Got to learn to paint kind of slowly. Because I paint too fast with a big brush, so. And you can use any brush, whatever brush is comfortable for you. Um, like I said, I usually don't paint a black background, but I think we're gonna like paint um, some flowers or something like that. So when I paint flowers, I usually use a black background. Now when we get towards the bottom, I'm going to use white. So I'm going to stop right up here with the black. I can't believe tomorrow's already Christmas Eve. It's just crazy how how this year's gone fast. I'm, every year's really gone fast. I'm using a stretch canvas, so I try to paint the sides too. But sometimes I leave those blank. Yeah, it's going to take me quite a while, but we don't have time, right? <laughs> As you can see, I got two YouTube channels. I don't know why, but one of them is Bloomy Artist, and the other one's Anita Bloom. So if you miss some of the videos, some of them are under Bloomy Artist also. So. You can look on there too to watch my videos. Because I don't know how to really put them all in one. So just look on there and you'll see me. 
And as you can see, I paint all kinds of things. I paint landscapes, flowers, anything you can imagine. And animals, which animals are kind of hard to do anyway, so I don't paint animals very often. So, I'm almost there. Almost towards the bottom here. I like black when they're when it's a nighttime scene, which this will probably be a nighttime scene more than likely. And then I don't use too much paint because then it gets real wet and then it drips all over the place. So and now be white. I bought me some new bottles for for my paint and some new lids, but unfortunately the lids still get hogged up. And so my paint doesn't come out very well, um, which kind of upsets me because I bought those lids thinking that my paint's going to be okay, but what I do is paint white. And you guys don't have to paint the exact same painting I have. Um, when I follow artists, I don't paint the exact same that they paint because this is going to be a little hill. And then this is going to be a smaller hill. And then that's going to be even smaller hill. That didn't come up to just now, the hills. So, see, when I start painting, I start thinking of things to paint. Because when I start painting, I usually don't know what I'm going to paint. And I guess this will be a winter scene. So, as I wait for that to dry... Um, I'm going to read you guys some poetry here. I'm going to find a good one. Um, uh, let me see. Uh, this one's about 2023-2024. I lay here with my eyes open. Wondering, pondering what next year is going to bring. Not much left of 2023, and that's goodbye forever. But wait, where does it go after this? Somewhere, it's on the list as our memories unfold. These years may not be the greatest ever told. 2024 will be here, yet Christmas also is so near. These years just came and poof, it was gone. That's why memory should be forever strong. Don't let the past whisk you away. There were some distant memories that were okay. Like grandmas and grandpas that were there. They loved us new and deeply cared. Their death brings memories that are worth sharing. Each memory of them is worth bearing. I never want to forget them, and my heart and mind is where they belong. 2023 may be a memory for all. What will 2024 bring? Electric cars? Maybe. Maybe even a AIs taking over our lives. Don't fear. Life is... Wait. Don't fear. Life as it is. Reading, being alive is on that list. Keep on doing what you're doing and just keep on moving. That's one of my poems I wrote not too long ago. And let me see if I can find another one. Here's about coffee. Coffee is good. Coffee is hot. When you have nothing else, that's all you got. 
Coffee may be good or bad, but sometimes it's the best one you've ever had. It may taste sweet or plain, but but what's coffee without a name? Coffee comes with its own variety. Coffee belongs within the society. Smooth, rich, strong, it can last all day long. Coffee in a cup, that's what's up. We all need coffee to get us going, even when the weather turns gray and it starts snowing. Coffee may not be for everyone. Without coffee, there's cocoa, and that's better than none. Now, I these were poems I wrote, poems, for a pretty long time. Um, I think I started writing poems when I was a teenager, and since then I've been writing on and off. Not as much as I should, but I've been writing them as it goes on my mind. So, so I like good poems, you know, the ones that make sense. Um, but anyway, let's kind of kind of color this again. The snow. This will also be a nighttime scene, so and then what you want to do is kind of smooth it out. See how you smooth it out without the brush lines on it. And now, um, now I got to think of what, to, oh yeah, I got to sit down. Oops, sorry, that was my paint. <laughs> uh, I just don't have enough room. I mean, my room is very tiny. Kind of limited over here. Okay, now I'm going to draw a moon. What I want to do is rinse my brush real good. Use the same brush. And then draw kind of a not very big moon, just a moon. <laughs> Later on, I'll probably go on Facebook, but I'm not going to do the same picture. I'll do a different picture. On YouTube and Facebook, I have two different paintings I do, so um, I might go on Facebook after this one. I don't know yet, but I'm going to go on Facebook eventually do another video. So you can see now a moon. Um, and let me see, what else can I do? I'm trying to decide what else I can do. Um, I do re real good with houses, and I don't know if I want to make another house. Um, I guess I could. Uh, I'm going to use this color. This is my favorite color, actually. Well, I have. I don't have just one favorite color. I have like several favorite colors I like. And a lot of them are nice colors I like. Um, now, these are all my detail brushes. I keep those separate. That way I can find them real easy. I don't know if I need a detail brush to do the... Um, I need one of these. This is my... This is a number 10 flat brush. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a little house. Let's 
See how it goes very slowly. Okay, and then I'm gonna come like this. Okay. I'm gonna add some white here. Just make it look like a log home or a cabin. And I'm gonna add blue, use white and golden. Okay, and I'm going to add another house, over a um, bigger house, I guess. This one's going to be pretty good size. Well, whatever you guys think this is, it doesn't matter. I mean, be a house, be anything. White, white and yellow for the roof. Okay. Then. Actually, I can point in more black. Actually, I might have to add black and white to the roof. No, actually, no. Actually, I will. Oh. Otherwise, it's not going to show very good. Okay. So now what are you doing? Hmm? Talk to my dog. Um let me see. I'm gonna add I'm gonna add something else. Um I'm gonna get church over here.
Okay. Girl. There's a church house, two houses, and a church. Now, I need a detail fresh. There we go. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, probably add paint. Pink and add uh, windows. Some of these lids do work pretty good, but there are some that don't. So, I'm go here. Here. Oh, maybe two windows or three windows up here. Church, I'm going to add a door, which is going to be kind of round. And then I'm going to add Okay. No, no, what are you doing? Base for my windows here. That way it looks kind of like a window. Base for my window here. Base for my windows here. Okay. 
I'm sure you can tell that's two houses and a church. And now, let's see. I'm going to add a path. Black path right up here. Okay, not be a river, nothing it's bad. So, um, can't add greenery because it's a winter painting. Um, winter painting, there's no green. So, I'm gonna add snow. I mean, bits of snow. Yeah, I can't have no grass or anything. This is a winter pain, so um, I could probably do uh, uh, I could probably do a tree. So what I'm gonna do is add this color. here. And I'm gonna like do the little things like all kinds of different trees. This one's probably the easiest one to do. Okay, this one too. Goes bigger and bigger and bigger. These trees don't have root. Well, I did say they have leaves. But what I'm going to do is something different. Okay. Okay, now I'm going to put little sparkles of white. So there's a tree on each side of that, and so I'm going to do, um, do a pole with the light on it. Ok, 
Okay. Hey, what are you doing? Okay. Makes my picture brighter, right? With the light on there, makes my picture much brighter. No difference. Okay, now. Can I add a couple clouds in the sky? I usually add pretty big clouds, but this won't be too big. Commander Luna. Hey, baby girl. What's the matter? Huh? Yeah, my dog always comes in here and visits me. She's the only dog that comes in here. <laughs> my other dogs won't try. <laughs> okay. Now make the small clouds. You can tell that's the sky with clouds. Um, and that's a little, I guess you could say a little town. Church is kind of on the hill, as you can see. Um, because that's a cliff right there. So it's kind of on the edge of the cliff. Um, and plus, it's a little bit higher. Not much higher, but a little bit. And, um, what else? Oh, I can do a little silhouette cat. Now, with that, do black, I guess. Black and no. Now, see, I can do the back of animals, so just can't. Really do the front. Okay. And you can see how I made my cat. Um, now I'm going to try to make a, a human being, and that's going to be kind of a challenge because I've never, I mean, I've made um, human being, um, I have made human beings, but they were kind of different. So, here we go. I'm trying human being. There's 
do the body right now. Um, shoulders. It not pretty good. Now, as you can see, my picture has a human and a cat. So, of course, the cat looks bigger than the human. But maybe it's a tiger. Maybe it's a... Well, it can't be a lion, but it could be tiger. Or it could be any kind of cat. It doesn't have to be a domestic house cat. So, let's turn the human pretty good. But, um, yeah, so these roofs, though, have to be a little bit, that one has to be kind of even better than it does. Let me see. There we go, that's beautiful. Okay, and 38 minutes. Um, I was on for 38 minutes, so um, try this house in this cat. My, my, um, female dog loves to entertain herself sometimes. So my dog, my male dog, don't play with her that much. I mean, he'll play with her, but he gets tired. He's only, what, two, two years old. And she is six, yeah, six months old already, so. Big for her age. That cat's kind of, looks like kind of leaning a little bit, maybe. Um, I like painting cats, but I'm more of a dog lover than a cat lover. So, um, I mean, I see cats everywhere, but. It's like, I'm not, 
much a pet person anymore. Believe me, I used to be. There. Now, as you can see, I removed the cat because I missed it about a little bit. So, um, I might not even draw another cat. I'll probably just draw another human. Yeah, that's what I'll do. Draw this human a little bit different. here on her too.
Hey, what are you eating? No. Come here. Come here. She always picks up stuff from my office and makes me nervous. No. What are you eating? No. I guess she doesn't have anything in her mouth. I keep trying to get her out here and keep running for me. Come here. Come here. Luna. Here. I'll get her in a minute. She, she just, every time I say come here, she kind of backs up. This is my lovely little female doggie. She's a purebred chihuahua. And she's my companion. She's so sweet. She's so mellow. And she's so... She's bigger than her brother. Her brother's a chihuahua, too. <laughs> she loves to kiss me and... And stuff. Charlie. No. And this is her brother, Charlie. He's the sweetest too. And he loves to lick. Lick, lick, lick. But he's the sweetest too. And her and him play a lot. They love to play. And she loves to cuddle to him. And he likes to be under the covers all the time because he gets really cold. Right, Charlie? Yeah. His name's Charlie. And he's about two years old. So I don't think he's going to grow anymore. Get out. Get out. Get out. Time to go. Java's our huge dog. I don't. I can't really hold him. But those are my two lovely dogs. And I got older 17-year-old. Um, dog, and he doesn't want to be bothered or nothing, so he wants me to leave him alone. So I just leave him alone because if I pick him up, he'll yelp because I think he's hurting. But anyway, I guess this is the only this is the picture I painted, and I think I'm finished. So I hope everybody has a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. See ya. Sometime next year.